Okay, so welcome back guys and if you are now checking this video for the first time on setting up the auto start for Nginx proxy manager on Ubuntu, look at my previous video where we went through how to set up Nginx proxy manager on Ubuntu using a Raspberry Pi. So make sure you looked at that video so you understand where we left off and you know where to continue but this video is specifically going to be teaching you how to set up um a auto start so that if your raspberry pi reboots for whatever reason when ubuntu starts it will start docker and launch this particular project in docker so let's go ahead and jump right into this video after this intro Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Okay, so we are now going to go ahead and configure um, Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager to auto start on boot. So anytime your system actually have to restart for whatever reason, um, Ubuntu will actually start Docker and run the proxy manager for you. So let's go ahead and get right into this right now. So um, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually, we're, we're gonna be creating another folder called bash into our proxy directory. So we're in proxy already. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do mkdirbash. Okay, so press enter. So you just make that directory bash. So now we're actually going to just copy this here. Okay, we're going to create this file, which is npm start. So remember I told you nano is the, it's an editor, it's a text editor that's available for Linux. So we're going to go in there and we're going to copy this data now. Um, so we want this. Uh, remember now we have to go into your home directory. So let me just copy this in and then I will actually explain to you what all of this does. Copy. So now we're basically... So now we're actually telling our operating system to go to home, your username, which my username is actually Sheldon. This is your home directory and the folder where we created this. Okay, and then we're gonna tell it to run this command docker compose up dash d. So let's save this, control x, y, enter. So now we need to go and create that service now to be run. So we're gonna go ahead now and sudo this command. So I need to copy. Okay, now we can actually get to create that file. So now in that file now, we're gonna go ahead and copy this document, this, this text, copy, paste. So we're creating that service. Now it's gonna be after network service. So I mean, after the network would have started, and the service we want to do is that one that we just created, which is home, your folder, the folder that the proxy folder file that we created is in, bash is in the folder, npm start that shf file we just created. So we're going to close this out. So that service there was created. So now we're going to go to chmod these files. So we're going to need sudo permission because of where these files are located. All right, so that one is done. And then we're going to go ahead and sudo this one in. Copy this and paste. So that's done. Now we need to reload the system daemon so that it will start automatically. Copy here. Uh, 
delete this extra text out from there. So while that is being done, I'm going to copy this and paste this in here. And that's it. We're done. So we can actually reboot this now. So um, let's come back here. Uh, we can go to drive.sheldonblair.com. We see that that's up and running. Now let's reboot our server. Now while that's being rebooted, our stuff is offline. If we try to reload this here, we're going to have a problem. Nothing is working. So let me close this off. So if I go to downloads, nothing is working. I can't access it. Where did it go? So the server is actually rebooting. So once this is finished and the server started the service, uh, we will be able to access this again. So it's going to take a second for the server to come back up. Um, consider it's on a Raspberry Pi, maybe about a minute the most. All right, so it's back up now. Um, the server is showing me that it came online, so it's now starting the services. All right, let's initialize it. Docker has not started as yet. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, it should work. And there we go. It's back up. So there you go. We have it there together now. So there you have it. We have successfully set up auto start and reboot for our Engine X proxy manager on Ubuntu.